hey guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i will be showing you how to make this beautiful extruded rail profile in fusion 360 basically this can be of many material uh, and they have plenty of uses whether it's a cnc router or uh, you can say 3d printer so this this these rails came in various sizes and various cross sections so this is a simpler one so this is just a practice exercise for just who are beginners so let's get started so click on new workspace and on the front plane start by making a center point rectangle so make a center point rectangle press d for dimension make this 25 and make this 25 as well again click on a uh, center point rectangle and draw another bigger rectangle press t for dimension this time make this 100 and this one also 100 so basically we have got our two squares here now once done press l for line select this point and this point and make a line and now select that line and extrude it offset it up to a distance of 5 up to a distance of 3 and again repeat the same for just don't select the construction line like what I am doing here this drag your mouse till it snaps the line yeah here it is okay something went wrong just undo it and i will do it again and make it minus three like this now go to modify go to extend extend these two lines up to the rectangle like yeah like that now what I am going to do is press offset again and select this line and make the selection as chain selection and extrude it downwards up to a distance of minus 8 like this. Once done press T for trim and select and trim these lines. like this press l again and draw one line here and press t for dimension and from origin give this a dimension of 25 once done click on mirror and mirror this line and the mirror line would be the center construction line and press ok now press t for trim and remove these extra lines that we have created to make a beautiful arrow like structure like this like this so we have a, a closed figure press l for line and switch on the construction mode draw one horizontal line and repeat by right clicking dragging upwards and draw one horizontal line press mirror and select all these profiles like this and mirror it to this point and press ok Again click on mirror and select all these points by dragging it. Don't, uh, uh, it is not necessary uh, if you uh, mirror the same light twice or thrice because unlike any other software Fusion 360 ignores the overlapping line. So you can mirror as, as many times you can, you want your skill sketch will still be you know uh, in the proper function. So press T for trim and delete these extra lines here so that we have a closed sketch here the sketch is already closed uh, but I am just making the trim here uh, unlike any other software the sketch needs not to be closed to extrude it Fusion 360 automatically you know snaps what you want to extrude it so just I am just doing this to make my sketch look better yeah this is okay now press extrude select this one and this one okay I left this one uh, during the trimming operation but never mind you can guess can that do that and extrude it 
up to any distance that you want and this is going to be our new component and press ok press c for circle and draw a circular hole of dia 10 mm ok let's make it 20 no, no, let me check it's actually 15 and finish the sketch and extrude cut it like this you can also you uh, created that inside the first of all first sketch also so i skipped that part that's why i have to make it here now to make the radius click on fillet and select all these by dragging this and give this a radius of 1 mm and press ok okay now to remove this radius go to modify go to simplify go to remove features okay no not remove features go to remove faces select this face and this face and delete it so uh one one more thing also if you guys can't able to find this simplify option of remove features and remove face and remove replace with primitives what I am going to do, I have already made a video on how to enable this option in your Fusion 360. So let me just quickly guide you. Go to Preferences and just wait for the toolbar to open. And if you just go to Design, there's an option called Enable, Arrange and Simplify Tool. Just click on this and you will find your Simplify Tool option in Modification Toolbar here. So basically this, this ha has Remove Feature, Remove Face and Remove uh, replace with primitives I have already made video on these two topics and this one is quite interesting I'm going to make a separate video on that but for that this would be good and shift and N to enable the colors automatic colors so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day